we're analyzing graphs of polynomial functions, and we want to algebraically identify even and odd functions. So determine whether the function is even, odd, or neither. So the first check that we want to do is we want to check to see if this is an odd function. And so uh, we expect that the possibility of it being odd are, are pretty good because it has the highest degree of 3, which is an odd exponent. So uh, first thing we want to do is we want to see what the function is uh, if we negate the whole thing. So negate the function f of x. That's equal to uh, the negative of x cubed minus 12x. And we can distribute the negative in. So we get the func uh, negative negated the entire function. So we distribute the negative, we get negative x cubed. And then negative times negative is positive. So that becomes plus 12x. And then the next thing we need to check is we need to check uh, negative, the function evaluated at negative x. So the function evaluated at negative x, and we want to check what that's equal to. So negative x cubed minus 12 times negative x. Because the x value is raised to an odd exponent, the negative will remain negative because eventually it'll be a positive multiplied by a negative, and that will stay negative. Uh, the example that we work with is if we have negative 3 raised to the third power, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, and then multiplied by negative 3 again, and that becomes negative 27. So we're going to keep the negative sign with our exponent here. So the function evaluated at negative x, we're going to keep the lead negative for the coefficient, and that just becomes negative x cubed. Then we come to our next term. We have a negative 12 multiplied by negative x, and we have that, that is a negative multiplied by negative, so that becomes positive 12x. So if we look at our original function f of x, we see that it is x cubed minus 12x. So the lead coefficient for uh, the original function is 1. If we look at uh, our function evaluated at for negating the entire function, the lead coefficient is negative. And the function evaluated at negative x, the lead coefficient is also negative. So neither one of them match the original function, so it cannot be even. And then we go a little bit further and we see that their, the second term is positive 12x and positive 12x. So those do match. So this function is odd. So we can see that the function evaluated at negative x is equal to the entire function negated. And so this is an odd function.